Hey you guys, it's Molly. I'm doing a resin piece tonight. Um, let me make sure that my gun is on. Yep. Okay, so um, if you check out the end of the video, you'll see how I mixed all the colors. I am working um, on a, I think it's a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I've taped off the sides and painted it um, a dioxazine purple. So I'm gonna start by laying down my base of purple on here. And then I think I'm gonna try to swipe some colors through it and see if I can get any cells. So there's all my resin. Let me spread that out and then I'll heat it. If you put too much, and I talk about it at the end, but if you put too much paint in your um, resin, it will congeal pretty fast. So you gotta be careful about that. Let me heat this. I am heating just to get air bubbles out right now and to warm it up so that it moves a little bit better. That's all. And when you're working with the resin, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to take the appropriate safety precautions, okay, first off. And then you're gonna to, um, wanna to make sure that you heat it multiple times to get all the air bubbles out. Gosh, this purple is really pretty. I might've had just a little bit too much in there because I can already see mine starting to congeal a little bit, but hopefully it should be fine. So I'm gonna work fast. So I like KS Resin because it is FDA food safe. It is heat resistant up to 475 and that's the art resin and their countertop resin. Um, they have some cool pigments and base tints. And uh, the company is based, I believe, out of Florida, and they're just a really nice company to deal with. So, super excited to be an affiliate with them. I really like them a lot. So I'm just getting this base coat. You don't wanna burn the resin. You just wanna get all the air bubbles out of it. And as I heat it, I'll get more. So I'm not like super concerned right now about it. Let me get this one spot that didn't wanna go. Okay, there we go. All right, so my idea is to take this resin up through here. And it's a little bit transparent and I like that. And then this blue through here which is kind of similar to the um, to the purple, I mean to the purple, so we'll see how that reacts. And then I wanted these blues, oh my gosh, that blue is gorgeous. This is the primary elements blue right here. Wow, that's pretty. Those colors are gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna heat this up. I'm getting the air bubbles out when I heat this up. And then as you'll see, once I get all the air bubbles out, this can I can start moving this around a little bit. So you angle it and you can kind of move it. Don't want to burn it. And then just wait what happens when I put this white on there. Okay, so I have these little sheets of paper right here that I'm gonna use. So I'm going to put just a little bit of white through here. And right through here. And then I'm going to swipe these out. Wipe that off. Come back through it again. Change it over. 
There we go. Now as those colors start mixing with this white, you'll see it's beautiful. Not getting any cells in there, and I think it has to do with the um, me not using a base tint underneath as my coat, but we'll see what happens when I heat it. I actually really like this almost just the way that it is. I love the flow that's in there. All right, let me heat this up. So I love how the colors ended up mixing together. Oops. Just getting air bubbles out as well. Heating this up a little bit. All right, let me get my heat gun. Heating this up, moving it around a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take another piece of paper Swipe on through here again. Getting that purple out of there. Oh my gosh, I really, this is really pretty. I want to swipe over this white with some of that purple again. I have all these little tiny cells forming, these little pop-up cells forming. I think I might just blow out my edges just a little bit, and I think I may be done with it. I really, really like it the way that it is. It's very simple. Yeah, I think I want just a little bit more through there, through there, and a little.
little bit more of the transparent blue. There, let me heat that up. Wow, there is so much depth in here. Let me get that little piece. right here to be pink. It won't stay pink because of the white. Oh no! I had purple right there. Let me get this last little bit of pink onto here. There we go. Now I have to get rid of this purple right there. So I'll fix that. You can fix this. That resin can be hot though, so just be careful. means that I think I burned just a little bit so make sure you don't do that wow I love this piece all right so I'm gonna take it down and show you and pause okay let me get the light out of the way so there all those colors intermixed it's almost like a galaxy. Very simple. I just, I love it. I'm gonna fix that part off camera, I think. But there you go, you guys. Just something else you can do with resin. There is so much you can do. I am still learning myself, so um, Artist Till Death. There's a couple other people that are, you know, really, really good with resin and do beautiful artwork. I know Mixed Media Girl does a little bit as well. Um, but I'm working on my mixture for getting better cells, learning about base tints. But I'm telling you, if you want an affordable, easy to work with resin to do it, it's KS Resin. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye. Okay, you guys, it's Molly. You have, ooh, my camera's a little bit crooked there. So you've already seen the pour tonight, so I hope it turned out okay. Um, but I just wanted to show you. So I'm using KS Resin. Um, it's my favorite now. All my links are down below if you want to purchase it. You get 5% off. Um, they have a lot of pigments and bases coming out, so I'm just going to show you. So I've already mixed my resin together, and I had just one little dollop of color in the bottom. And look at how well that mixes out. I mean, it's just beautiful. So if I wanted it a little bit darker, I could have used a pigment tint, base tint to it. Those are a little bit more transparent at times. What I'm doing now is putting some... Um, 
what color is this? Baja blue. Oh, let me see if I can into my blue here. So if you're adding acrylic paint, you don't want to mix more than 10% paint in with the resin itself. Okay, because it will kind of congeal and become this like nasty, yucky mess. The resin doesn't have that much of a smell to it, which is great. Let me get this one. I'm going to mix this one up. So I just wanted some kind of light tints tonight because I painted the base purple so that it wouldn't matter if any white showed through. And I'm going to go grab my pink. I think I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol ink pink. And these alcohol inks are in my store as well, in my Amazon store. So I'm putting a little bit of, move those to the side. And you just mix that together as well. Oh, that made that such like a bright, pretty color. Okay. So I'm also using the primary elements. I don't know if I'm going to use this yellow or not. I might stay away from the yellow for now. I don't know. So I'm just going to take a little bit and put it in there. Let's see what this color mixes to. This was kind of a similar blue, so. But this one looks much more opaque. So maybe I'll get a reaction from the two of those. So that was primary elements. Let me tell you what color. That was majestic blue, primary elements. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Wow. I'm telling you, those primary elements are pigmented. They are beautiful. Okay, so for the white, I add a couple different things. A drop of titanium white, like just literally a drop. Then I add Casting Craft. Casting Craft is an opaque pigment that really gives great cells. I use it in a lot of my resin ocean art. And then I'm gonna add some white alcohol ink. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna mix that up. And then this one is dioxazine purple. So let me mix this white. And you'll see immediately how that casting craft kind of takes over that white. And it's this beautiful, rich, opaque color now. It's gorgeous. All right, my last color here is purple. So I don't think I'm gonna use that yellow, but I can make some resin coasters. Oops, not stirring over you. I can make some resin coasters with the Actually, maybe I'll just put this resin in here. Can you guys still see? So I just like to do these at the end because I get so many questions from people on, well, how did you mix that? What did you use? So I like to put this at the end for the people that want to watch it to see what's actually going on. So that's it. These are the colors that I'm using tonight, and I'm going to try to swipe the white across and see if I get any reaction from it. So... Thank you guys. Yeah, the painting. Bye.